because we, you know, I had a discussion for the first time ever in two years. I'm ready for a relationship. I, I love being single. I love my independence, but I want the right relationship. And I had to reflect and I had to admit um, that certain exchanges with men, even though they're great men, um, they have, they didn't have the same intention that with me as I had with them. And yet they get such a piece of me that I should have reserved. I, I bro way too much. I bro with every guy and I, 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 it's, I think it's a protective tactic. I don't mean to sabotage. And then, um, I'm not setting, um, intentions with C when I, I'm sorry, not intentional, um, when I'm going out and dating and I'm trying to work on that. And I want to leave with this and then we'll do the funny thing real quick. We only have a minute cause we're, we're over now. And this is how we'll bring in next week's episode. True love is not found. It is created through conscious effort. And I'm on you guys always like on the show and we all talk, you got to make conscious efforts. Um, so we'll, we'll leave that cliffhanger. I have a lot planned. What are you doing, Jeff? Is that uh, what's going in that hole? I see you out there. I want to. <laughs> here for that. the OnlyFans, Jeff. Can, he's here for the OnlyFans. Sorry, I was describing how my big ass was on a my office chair at home for so many years that the little post sort of sunk all the way through and was scraping oh, on shit. the bottom. It sort of just worked its way down. Oh my god! So I'm sitting here like super low. I'm like, why is this so low? And I'm like, oh, because my big ass squashed it. <laughs> I love him so much. 